All righty. So ready when you are. Okay, then. So, <clears throat> obviously, this is a very different sort of um, chat to what I have done in the past with Chris. This is a, 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 a virtual Zoom meeting as opposed to sort of sitting at the table with Chris, discussing the game, playing the game, etc. So this is quite new for me. Definitely yeah. Using Zoom this way anyway, as it is for Chris. So apologies if you know the, the signal drops or something that there's a hitch or something's not quite right. Um, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, making okay. the best we can with isolation. <laughs> yeah. With me being stuck <laughs> in on my own for ten days. Uh, we thought we'd give Zoom a go, but obviously it's the latest episode yeah, this- of the Boardmasters with us. So. Chris is going to be talking about his five most anticipated of my Kickstarters, if that makes sense. So all the games that I've backed over the past year. I think I will know a couple based on the the games that you've loved of mine so far, knowing that sequels and things coming up. So, oh well, I'll look, pass over to you because it's your your list. Okay, so this is. Like Chris said, uh, my top five upcoming games um, that Chris is going to get in his collection probably in the next, well, some of them are sooner than others, but I'd imagine you'd have all these in the next three or four months. Um, this is sort of ongoing from the previous video of last week. Mm-hmm. So let's dive right in with my first choice, and it's Streets. Um, nice. For me, I felt this game really had to be included in my top five list. Um, Obviously, playing the villagers, which is like the prequel to Streets, um, mm-hmm. we both got totally hooked with that. It very much exceeded expectations. Um, we gave, both gave it a perfect score. So I yeah. felt I had to really add Streets to a top five list of upcoming games. Definitely. Um, streets is um, basically the follow on to villagers, it's sort of an urbanization of villagers, really. Um, obviously, I've had a look at these games online. And just this is just what I've seen. Obviously, these are upcoming games, so I've not handled any of these games or anything like that. It's just no, me either. And what I've, read, what I've seen on online. Um, well, I think with that, just like about- following on from Villagers is going to be a massive hype fest for us. And as you said, we both gave it tens, and it's due. Any time this month was why I wanted to do this this week, really, because probably by the time we're at the table again, well, streets will hopefully be here by then. So I will have probably filmed an unboxing and whatnot. Mm. Yeah, so really, this, I could not include this game. Um, the elements that I really like about this game, um, again, following on from villages, I feel there's quite a lot of strategy. Um, with streets, um, certainly on how you can um, make money within the game, on how you um, place your buildings, how you mm-hmm. plan your sector. Um, very similar mechanics to streets as well, um, but this time um, it's more about the placement of meeples. Yeah, manipulating um, the meeples to different shops and then closing streets yeah. off and moving them and bit more yes. interplay. So yeah, the Meeple's um, aspect sounds good. I'm a big Carl Strong fan. Um, and obviously, um, you know, the placement of the Meeple's is key um, to increase the value of the buildings, etc. Um, I really love the um, colourful looking graphics on these Meeple's. Um, well, on the cards as well, on the buildings, yeah, they look yeah. absolutely gorgeous, I think. Yeah, I do like the art on the cards and tiles um so yeah um that's really my my sort of like streets yeah i think that one was nailed on i'm glad well ironically i got villagers through the kickstarter for streets so if i hadn't backed streets i probably never would have bought villagers so it's an interesting journey really and I still want to play villagers with the extra players, so you can have all the um, the extra um, sort of like skills as well. Yeah. Sort of, um, Although you can substitute them in, so you can take out like the graper 
and replace it with, I think it's wool and, or leather. So you could substitute them in, but it would be better to do a larger game where we could try them all. And obviously I have backed mm. the expansion for villagers as well. Uh, yeah. But that was only this summer, so that will probably be next year sometime. Yeah, so very much looking forward to Streets. Um, can't wait to play it, really. Can't wait to get it to the table and play that one. Yeah. Probably be a soon um, one, I would think. Yeah, I think so. I, I hope so, anyway. Um, so, that's my first choice on my top five. Moving mm -hmm. on, my next choice is Return to Dark Tower. Mm. Um, a big one. Yeah, this, this is absolutely massive in scale. Um, so much going on. Um, so with this game, I really had to choose this in my top five. Um, I, you know, I'm also a massive Stephen King fan, but I enjoy his books. I've read a few of them, and um, the horror, the horror books he's written, and supernatural stories, and the films. So obviously, with this board game being based on his book. Um, the Dark Tower series, I was in instantly sort of this did appeal to me. I know this is a very early game that Chris yeah. told me about. I to be honest, base, I never drew that parallel. I've got all the Stephen King but Dark Tower series in my games room. I absolutely love them. I'd never realised there was a connection there. I thought it was just a coincidence of the name. Uh, but that yeah. would be even more exciting for me now then. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know for definite, but I'd imagine it's got the, um, I don't know, like I said, is it the Dark Tower series on Stephen King, so to me it sounds like it's probably connected. Possibly. Um, Although I think the board game's a bit more traditional fantasy than the books, but yeah. even so, even if it's not. Yeah. I'll have to do some more research on that. Um, so looking at the game, as a whole, um, I can obviously see the link to Gloomhaven. Um, obviously, Gloomhaven and the Sound of Dark Tower um, do, I believe, have the same game designers. Okay. Um, um, and obviously, it's an Awaken World game, which both of us seem to love that company. I thought that was Robinson Crusoe. Did, Awaken Rams did the minis for that. I don't think they're involved in Return to Dark Tower. Um, I'm not sure who makes Return to Dark Tower, to be honest. I don't think it's not an Awakened Realms one. Okay. So, um, what I like about this game again, if I'm looking online, um, I like the combat system on the game. It feels very, well, it looks very intuitive. Um, it stands out. Um, and also the different choices you have, you have in the game, which you can make, um, which you very much just control, um, the different choices, the different, um, threats, um, combat, and the gathering of resources looks really interesting and appeals to me. Yeah, it was um, Restoration Games that have done Return to Dark Tower. Fair enough. I don't know if the designers may be involved, perhaps, but company-wise it's not. Yeah, of course. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I read that. I'm obviously read the wrong thing. Um, the other things that I love about the look of this game is um, the ability to develop and level up a player, mm -hmm. as well as getting game companions as you go along. Yeah. And, um, it's the scale of it for me, to be honest. Just that the idea of that 80 inch play mat and then the giant tower standing in the middle and all these mm. minis charging around the outside, battling, it's going to be, it's just epic. Yeah. I like how interactive the tower looks as well. Mm. Um, you know, you know it, involved, it gets involved in battles um, yeah. and does impact on how you sort of battle and deal with each adversary. And, it's, yeah. it's an enemy in its own right, I think. Uh, yeah. It's always throwing up That's problems. Cool. That's just said, the scale of the game is. I'm glad you got your big gaming table. <laughs> we well, yeah, I'll have to leave the leaves on because the play map's too big for the vault, I think, based on the, the measurement of it. 
I think it would just about fit on the top. <laughs> um, yeah, this for me was um, a no-brainer. I know that we've, we've talked about the Jet Star Tower um, numerous times, and I know we've been looking forward to getting it, and I've been looking forward to getting it. I've got to play this game with you. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think what, this is another one I think that's been arrived it's going to be hitting the table definitely i mean it's probably going to be i'll be lucky to get it by the new year i think now that they, they've just done an update where they shipped the first ten thousand to the us so i don't know when they're going to be shipping to the uk so we've obviously been pushed down the list a bit so that's going to delay it a little bit sadly yeah yeah it's a bit of a shame but you know, it's just something else to look forward to. Yeah, we've got plenty to keep us going in the meantime. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so that was the second one on my list. Um, number three, um, like a flip season in no particular order anywhere. I haven't ordered them. This is just the five. Mm -hmm. um, number three is um, the Shivers. Oh, yeah. Um, I remember Chris telling me about this game, I think, well, you know, probably sort of New Year sort of time. And he sent me the link I think game. it was before that. I backed that one. That was on Kickstarter July last year, I think it was. I think I yeah. shared it again in, in the new year when I think that was when the pledge manager opened. Yeah. But I'd already backed it so by remember, that point. I remember looking at one of the links you sent me anyway, and um, I really liked the look of it. It was a game that I did sort of like think about possibly even get myself. Um, so yeah, um, what I like about this game is I think it um, looks very unique. Um, I've not seen another game like it, to be honest with you. No, absolutely um, I not. Think, I certainly think it'll play diff different to any other game I play so far, at least. Um, I love the sort of the, the spooky, um, like puzzle element of the game. Um, I have the pop-up rooms. Oh, the rooms are um, gorgeous. Um, they're absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah, the, the detail and the styling of the room, the room cards, the pop ups are amazing. Um, also, the role playing aspect within the game as well. Mm -hmm. That does have me a little bit nervous, I'll be honest, because obviously I've never done DMing or DD or anything like that. And as the host, presumably, I will. Sorry, Binks is going mental in the background. Uh, I will presumably be sort of the DM of it and guiding people through and answering questions and whatnot. So it's it's very unlike my comfort zone, I would say. So it's one I'm nervous about from from the gameplay perspective, but very excited by it anyway. Yeah, um, I, I totally get that. Um... The visuals of the game, it just looks stunning. It looks so beautiful. Um, the miniatures look, the miniature characters look really good. Um, I love the fact you can rearrange each pop up room as well. The changes of, of the house as the game evolves. And mm -hmm. um, change the game. As I said before, I think the art style of each room looks amazing. Um, very bright colours, um, lots of detail. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to thinking my teeth into that one. Yes, I mean, that one's going to be a while. I think that one's going through production at the moment. So by the time they complete the production of all those rooms and then go through the shipping process, which is chaos, as we know. Again, that will probably be New Year. Hopefully quarter one, but who knows. On to number cool. four. Um, uh, number four on the list is Robinson Crusoe. Okay. Um, this is the one on the list that sort of, you know, there was a couple similar to the last one actually. I thought I was sort of a couple. It could have been, um, you know, frost, you know, frost punk being one of them. Um, but I went for Robinson Crusoe. Um, I actually remember reading this book at school. Um, <laughs> Um, I've never actually read it, like to be honest. Um, I know yeah, the basic gist of, of it, but I I never read the actual book. Yeah, I think it was one of those books that actually was part of the curriculum. I remember like reading it in class and 
sort of all taking turns to read it. Um, I think it was anyway. I mean, it's either that or Treasure Island. Um, so, big attraction to this game for me are the miniatures. I think they look absolutely amazing. The miniatures and the base camp as well. Oh, the yeah, the base camp that you construct as you're as you're playing and unlocking and building things in the game. You add to the base camp. Mm. I think Awaken Realms, I believe, did the minis for this. It's not an Awaken Realms yeah. game, but I believe they partnered up. Um, so yeah, lots of detail in the minis. It's probably the best I've ever seen in a board game, personally, just for the level of detail and the crafting quality. Um, well, hopefully the crafting quality matches up. Obviously, they're renders on the page, so they're just digitised yeah, pictures. But Awaken Rams are generally outstanding with their minis, as we know. Oh, okay. Kind of like lost you for a second. Um, yeah, so looking forward to that um i really like the resource gathering aspect of the game um and all the different elements that can affect gameplay as well um such as the weather element changes um and also i like the fact that you can evolve as the game goes on evolve your character um, mm -hmm. and also the tool building aspects of the game yeah um i mean it's a classic also, really... it's a classic it's yeah. been around for a while I probably wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't for the adventure pack that's in the the new that was in the new mm -hmm. campaign that gives you different different difficulty levels and things like that, which makes yeah, it. I like that aspect. Hmm. Give you those you know difficulty levels, and I also like the fact that the first two scenarios are tutorials as well. Well, from Jaws of the Lion, we know how valuable that is. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So, you, as a new player, you can, you know, sort of come into the game and learn fairly quickly, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, just for me, um, I have to be in there really just for the minis and the, the quality of the game, how it looks. I love the art style. Um, so, yeah, that's probably some truth. Mm. Um, I have to say, that's the one on your list so far that, that did, I never would have picked that one out as one you'd be. I knew you, I, Streets, because obviously we loved it, and Return to Dark Tower was the big epic one, and I know we talked about the Shivers a lot when that campaign was on, but Robinson Crusoe sort of, yeah, not something we've ever really talked about. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really um, know too much about this game. I mean, obviously, when you sent me your link of your upcoming games, I went through them all, and I remember looking at this one. And yeah, instantly, instantly appealed to me when I saw the pictures and was starting to read about it. So yeah, I just felt this one you know, deserved to be on there, really. Um, I do. Yeah. Fair enough. Number four, what does it say? My last pick, um, number five, is Dinosaur World. Of course. Had to be in there. Um, obviously, Chris and I have played Dinosaur Island. Um, a few months ago now and really loved it yes as you know as we both said we really like um jurassic park um which is essentially what this is um so yeah um what i what attracts me about this game um about there's certainly um more varied you know with, with the old with dinosaur island um you just you didn't have really any dinosaurs <laughs> had, like, I despise those meeples as well. I really did hate those meeples. It was just one. Um, I think it was just one single colour. It was pink, wasn't it? it was pink like triceratops. At the colour, I wasn't too fussed about, but creating a T Rex and using a triceratops meeple. No, not doing it. Yeah. Can't stand that. So, I'm using Alex's dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> His plastic toy like dinosaurs. That. I like the fact that there's different dinosaurs now as the meeples and different colours. It just makes it a bit more interesting, I feel, and a bit more, a bit better. Oh, yeah, the volume of meeples I'm getting with this is, is pretty obscene, I think. Um, but, yeah, I think the big thing, well, a couple of big things for me, I'm really excited about um, the expansion of the water dinosaurs. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got all the expansions. 
Yeah, coming. the water dinosaurs and the Ice Age expansion pack look really interesting. Um, and again, it's you know it's very similar to Dinosaur Island. You know, I love the artwork. I love the style of the game. You've still got your hooligans. <laughs> yeah, I think the artwork's yeah. even better on this one. It's not quite as garish, maybe as the the original is very neon, uh, which works yeah. and works against it at the same time. It, there's some time some bits of it I love, some bits I hate. Uh, but I really, it's a bit more understated with the color palette on this one. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, thinking back to it, yeah, it was very in your face, um, the dinosaur island with the color palette. I think it was worse on the box. I think the box made it look, it's not as bad when you've actually got the game on the table, but the box art itself was very nearly put me off it, to be honest. I almost didn't buy it because of it. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is obviously a mass, you know, a step up from dinosaur island, expecting, you know. Good things of this. I mean, we rated Dead Dinosaur Island pretty high. You know, so I am expecting good things about this. And I'm excited. Yeah. Um, to play it. Um, so this yeah. Is I'm excited to see the sort of new hex based tiles where you build your park with the hex rather than just having like a preset board that you just put the yeah. rectangles on. Or yeah. You put your ride on, you put your dinosaur thing on, and they all kind of look the same. Whereas now, you're building out your hexes and you're actually building a park and I think it's going to feel a bit more organic or I hope it will. Yeah, it's certainly going to give more gameplay scope. Yeah, a bit more with the ranger tours and everything when you're sending your little jeeps out. And it really does yeah. channel Jurassic Park. <laughs> I mean, it is, you know, how they, it's a bit like uh, Nemesis, isn't it? You know, it's alien, whereas this is really Jurassic Park. It's, yeah, I'm all for that. So yeah, that's my that's my five really. Um, Excellent. And again, that one will hopefully arrive this month as well. So that one and Streets, I would think, would be on the channel sometime in October. Potentially unboxings before that, because well, if they arrive while I'm isolating, I guess I'm going to have my first week out of isolating is just going to be filming unboxings. I think, but we'll see. The next couple of weeks, there's going to be a few of them. Spoil. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kabuto, Kabuto Sumo obviously arrived this week. Great Wall was supposed to arrive tomorrow. Obviously mentioned Streets and Dinosaur World already. Carcassonne, 20th anniversary. Then the Sonic the Hedgehog card game from Steamforge Games is supposed to arrive. Kind of bought that for Alex's birthday because it's not for me at all. <laughs> So I might not be able to unbox that one until after his birthday because I probably shouldn't give it to him open. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He can box it with you, maybe. Well, yeah, he... maybe. <laughs> he hasn't shown much interest in being on the channel lately, but with something like that, that may pull pull him back in. Yeah, and the shelf space is being filled. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's disappearing. God knows what will happen when. Dark Tower and ISS Vanguard and Ether Fields and Perseverance and whatnot come. Mm. They are much bigger. Yeah, that is more Calic. Oh, I haven't got it. I need another house. I mean, <laughs> right. Well, you have to lose the D you have to lose the DVDs and books back here. I know. I mean, we gave so many. We gave hundreds of those away this year to make space for. The galaxies we have, so I don't know if we can cut it down any further. Yeah, we'll have to see. Okay. Cool, but yeah, I think that worked okay. We'll see. Uh, but we'll leave it there. Hopefully, next week we will. Well, we might be zooming again, I guess, because we probably won't be at the table next week because my day off is Saturday, so it'll be. The, I mean, we could potentially leave the five in my collection you don't want to play until the week after. Yeah. I mean, we've still got next evening, haven't we? Oh, yeah. If you come around for an evening, we can do it. Cool. 
Right. Well, it was good to see you anyway. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, we'll do a quick video and then smash out a couple of scenarios of that, hopefully. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I will see you then. And thank you everyone for watching. That's the, the latest video there. So comment down below for any that you're looking forward to in particular, or if there's any that you do want to see or don't want to see even, let me know. But thanks again. Look after yourself, stay safe, and have a good one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.